Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look around the big shop at Legoland Windsor for the 2022 season. So it's a bit quick and choppy to start with until we get into the shop and then it slows right down again when we get to the Lego set. So this is going to be a full tour of loads and loads of different Lego sets. There's lots and lots of new sets available and if you've just noticed as you first came in, they are just starting to celebrate the 90th year of play. So you've got to spot all the new 90 year edition Lego sets that are available within this video. So keep your eyes peeled for those sets that are out now and they are dotted all over this shop so we sort of go over the clothing to start with we have a look at all the different t-shirts and different bits and pieces that are available and then we will sort of do big figure of eights because what i did manage to do is try and get down every single aisle when somebody wasn't there so we do have a good look at everything that is available and yes the video is quite long it's just over 20 minutes long but this shop is absolutely massive so i did say in one of the previous shop videos that from billen so i am doing all the Legoland shops and stores as I go around all the different parks around the world. I did say in the Billund video that that was originally the biggest shop in the world. Then this then became the biggest Lego store in the world, which has now just been overtaken by the New York Legoland store, which I am hoping to visit either later on in the year at a push. If not, it will be sometime next year. So there is a full playlist available of all the different lego stores dotted around the world and all the other little lego shops and things as well so just hunt that playlist down with all the others as well so we are having a good look at all the pick and mix now so this is under the personalization section this is all new because as you pull pull out you have the option for a builder minifigure and also the um, mosaic as well but there is a video coming for a builder minifigure that I did in Billund at the Lego house in Billund and it is the best experience that I've ever had at a Lego store ever period so I cannot wait to upload and share that video with you it was a bit of a busy one filming this video because I did Legoland Windsor on the Thursday and then Friday morning I flew to Billund and filmed the Legoland Billund Park straight after so it was a big busy 48 hours but we got lots and lots of videos available so we are at the BAM section which is your build a minifigure you have lots and lots of bays available we'll go over the elements now you can have five elements so you've got bottom middle head accessory hair and you can build it your own way for that price point that was at the bottom and you've got all of these bins and bays that are available in the middle so that is really nice and well spread out so you can have lots of people building and hunting down all the different elements that you want for your minifigure and again everything to the left hand side in the store is all duplo and also it is all your bags and your tops and your hoodies and things and then we'll get into the meaty stuff in a minute where we have all of the new sets that are out on show so this was filmed in july 2022 if you are wondering at the point that this was filmed so if you can remember what came out in july 2022 let me know in the comments below if you're watching this from the future if not you know full well that what has literally just been released so in the comments below let me know what you are most looking forward to and if you are from the future let me know what is still on your wish list that you are hoping to get so that's your mosaic maker in the back that is where you go in you get your photo taken and then you can get given your sort of own face as lego bricks and we'll go over how you do that now so basically you just purchase smile collect it's, it does come in a really nice box. The box itself is really well presented and it's got also um, the internals of the box is really nice as well. That is available in the Lego House video and their mosaic maker actually has it on display with the box that you get given and everything else like that. So right, new Lego set time, which is what a lot of you will be here for. So you've got the roll, new Rolling Stone one that is down at the bottom. You've got the Bernabeu and then you can obviously spot Prime. So we'll get over to him straight away. So this is one that has just been released and I do believe has been very, very popular since sort of day one of release. They have all of the bigger sets all together and it's really easy to come in and find and you can obviously just take it to the till and go but you just got to remember that at the legoland store shops you do not get your vip points so if you're coming here for an experience and you just want to pick up some bits and pieces absolutely perfect i would do it but just remember they do not give you points and if you want to collect your points and get double points and so on and so forth you can't get that however 
Agba, if you do have a Merlin Pass, you do then get a percentage discount. I do believe it's either 10% or 20%. And I might depend on what type of pass you get because they've just changed all the passes. So if you've just renewed your pass, please let me know in the comments below what perks you get with your pass because it, obviously the perks do include access to other areas under the Merlin group and you get drink and everything else like that at a discounted price. But obviously what everybody's here for is how much of a percentage do you get off the Lego sets and is it worth getting the percentage off the sets at this shop or do you get your VIP points? So let us know in the comments below and let me know what you personally would like to do. Now, if you spotted it underneath the Porsche, when I was touching all the buttons for that white Porsche, just underneath that was the first set of 90 years of play. It was just tucked away. There are lots and lots and lots of them to find, so we will find them as we go around, and I will point them out a little bit better for you as we go. But I do like how they have all this 90 years of play just coming out so as of the time of this filming it was actually the birthday at the lego hq the day after i filmed this which was when i landed in billund so in the evening they started to kick off the 90th play and it's going to be a month long thing so i would like to think that they're going to be adding lots and lots of banners for this 90th year of play and hopefully, if you are going to be going in the next couple of weeks from this video being uploaded, the Rebuild the World section was actually blocked off and they had a lot of banners coming out for this 90th year of play. So I would really, really hope at some point the Star Wars attraction gets reused and maybe it goes into something like that as a walkthrough. I think that would be really, really nice where they just have... 90 years of history of the lego set starting from the beginning walking all the way through just something nice to look at and it's just another nice walk through attraction because i think it's something that's missing where at the top if you've been it was a big star wars display and you walked all the way through and they have a huge amount of space and it's a perfect opportunity with this 90 years of play just to get all the sets back out on display build them up and it can be a permanent fixture I don't run it, I would like to, if I if I had the keys to it, that's what I would do, because it's something that I'd like to see. So in the comments below, let me know what you think. Would you like them to do something special like that? And if you already know what's there, fill everybody else in, let everybody know what they have added into that bit. So you can see this store is extremely well stocked. Everything is in sections like it should be, and there is a lot of new Ninjago sets that have just come out as well. So if you were day one purchase of a lot of these sets again let us know in the comments below let me know what you picked up let me know what you got and i do like how since this store has been completely refurbed they have a lot more plexiglass things to look at and they have got a couple of them with a magnifying glass as well i think they might have taken some of them away i think there was more of them originally when it first opened so maybe it ate into the space a little bit too much or they came out into certain bits and pieces but i think they've got a really nice mix of all the lego sets so this is the magnifying glass one now that I'm talking about so you can sort of see it and just look through and they had a couple of couple of different bays like that but it's nice to see them all build up and it's just a, a nice different thing so as we go up and through um and have a look at all the different lego sets when we get to uh, i do believe it's a star wars one they've actually got a video package playing behind which i've never seen before so i think that's quite smart and if you look at the ninjago backing that is actually all lego studs and they have added all the different bits and pieces up onto the wall so again that's just a nice little a nice little touch of just diff them doing different bits of display so it is really really nice that they are adding in lots and lots of different things to look at as well as all the boxes so there is a lot to take in we are only nine minutes into a 22 and a half minute video so if my voice is annoying you just mute me you have two options i either play non-copywritten music or i speak over the video for the whole time because the music in the background is actually copywritten in this store so i've got no choice but to do it this way but again let me know in the comments below what your favorite set is that is on display let me know what you are waiting to get that is on your wish list and what did you get on day one of releases what sets did you get did you queue up at this at your local store did you order it online and just start speaking to each other in the comments so obviously when people come across this video it'd be nice to know how you're getting on with the builds and everything like that and i am going to try and start incorporating some more lives where everybody starts to have a bit more of a lego community feel and we can keep everybody updated with the new lego sets and things that they've got while 
I am trying to build up my own theme park of Lego. So this is the video package, so it keeps flickering and changing to what it was. There were stars then, and as I went back round and I was filming elsewhere, that had completely changed. So that, again, is something completely different, which I haven't seen at another Legoland before. Um, so if that is in your local park, please do let me know, but I've not, I've not seen it. Now, another thing I like about this store is they do have a massive Lego Technic section. I know it's not massively popular for some reason with lots of people, but other people absolutely adore it. Um, and there is a huge amount of cars out at the moment. You can get the Lamborghini store, you can get the new Ferrari, they've got the Mustang, they've got all the race cars in there, they've got the F1 McLaren car. There is a ton of stuff to pick if you are into your vehicles and they do look phenomenal built up in videos that are still to be uploaded from me doing this voiceover we've got some really nice look and builds in other lego shops of all these other sets built up and they do look absolutely fantastic right moving on to the lego city bits and pieces spot the new sets that have come out what have you added into your city what are you waiting to get now have you noticed that they've got these new mission boxes these new mission ones are related to the tv show and they've been really naughty because obviously a tv show will have characters and now on the box it actually has the name of the characters now going back to when i was in the billand airport i did notice that the new cargo train that has been released has the new farm t-shirt minifigure which has all the farm bits and pieces then they've also released obviously the truck they've released the farm but they've also released a police set with somebody stealing different bits and pieces because they all have the same artwork and logo on which i do believe is actually then going to be linked to the tv show so then all the kids are going to want to buy everything at the same time and it's just very very clever marketing from lego so if you didn't know that start having a look at the front of the boxes and just see how they're starting to link everything together and the hospital set which is just at the top i did notice has an amazing clown with it which i am looking forward to trying to get just that figure and that truck that i zoomed in on there that is going to be my next purchase to add in to my theme park so that is one of the new trains that is the older train the train station has the linkage with the farm as well you've got all the track and then you've got the older cargo train down there but i don't know if they have the new cargo train in this but that one did have the farm bits and pieces in so a bit of useless information for you all moving on to the exclusive lego set so all of these different bits and pieces are where you can only buy them at the lego land either hotels or the lego land theme parks now if you are a regular to the lives and you cannot get these sets over in your country just ask and we can try and figure something out of how i can get one to you why you know shipping it over to you posting it over or whatever i don't mind trying to pick one up and trying to help people out as best as possible you can see the tills are very very colorful now they've got all different displays at the front of each till i didn't go into the front because obviously this video was long enough but they did have again just nice bits and pieces to have a look at and they did still have the giveaway um free giveaway purchase at the back of the till if you spent over a certain amount of money as well so that was still running even though that had actually run out uh, about maybe five or six days previous on the lego website so that is also something else to consider if you miss the giveaway online because obviously they run out or it's just run out of date they seem to have a lot of them at legoland windsor so it's always good to come here as a backup plan if you really really do want that free giveaway that comes with the set now as we loop round, you've got all these different models now all the models obviously do have the brick count and the weight and everything on display and all sorts of different bits and pieces like that and you can just see in the background there is a little building place which is quite nice which is again relatively relatively new to this store so they have done massive improvements to this with regards to the coloring the feel everything it's such it's a much nicer store than what it used to be i mean it wasn't bad to start with but now it is it just feels it just feels nice in here it doesn't feel like it's um too close together you've got plenty of space now you can imagine how busy this store gets when i left the park the queue was all the way around all the black barriers that they put up 
and there were people just queuing to get into the store. So this store will get extremely busy. Now I know that if you are staying at the Legoland Hotel, what you can do is you can get your items sent to that hotel. So what you could do is you can just come up here at this time, sort of in the morning, pick the sets that you want and the members of staff at the end of the day will take them to your hotel and then you can just pick them up and I think they also have a place where if you were to buy the sets they would actually then put them in a hold for you so then at the end of the day you can just take them home without having to join a massive queue now I, that is what they used to do ask a member of staff first if that is still the case because a lot of people will just come in at the end of the day obviously with the little ones as they leave and they'll just pick up a smaller set if you are hoping to get a massive set that opportunity might be there for you for them to put it in a hold and then you can then just enjoy your day pick it up before you leave and then you're good to go Right, we still got lots and lots to see. We are over the halfway mark now, so don't worry, we're 16 minutes in. So we're just about to get past all the Minecraft bits and pieces. And then we have all the Super Mario. I know it is a little bit quick, me walking around these in the other videos it is a little bit slower, but it's just such a big store. If I walk around slowly, slowly, so you guys can really soak it all in, the video would be about 45 minutes long. If that is something that you would like me to do, let me know in the comments below. It's quite difficult to do it in this store when it's obviously there's people here because I try and go around them so you can see everything. So I'd rather get around so you can see it all than you might just have to rewind the video a little bit. So just so you have to re-see one of the boxes rather than going super slowly and then missing some bits and pieces. But just let us know in the comments below what you think because some of those shops I've been into in some of the parks, like the Lego house for example, that's a lot easier to film and you can go a lot slower and you can just sort of soak it, soak it all in. So let me know what, how you prefer it, let me know if the pace and everything's okay. Moving back on to the main Lego set. So as we come through and down, we are going to have a look at one of the new exclusive set which is the mythica lego set so we will get to that in a second we've just had a look at the big lego park gates we've had a look at all of the others but they do have a mythica set built up behind one of the plexiglasses so we'll get past all the ninjago bits and pieces and we will make our way over that after we've just i think we've got to have a look at a few of the items built up first and then we'll get over to that way so again they've got like your little accessory packs You've got all the flowers in stock um, as we come pan up and move round to the right one of those is built so we will have a look at that in a second and again they've got these new arrival bits in so as you come in through the front door they are all there and you can see the artwork just behind where it's got the 90 years of play there's your new rolling stones that box is absolutely massive let me know why the box is so big is there something special on the inside of it and obviously this is the special legoland mythica set and there are plenty of them available so i thought i'd spin them around the back as well this is a major major upgrade to legoland windsor with regards to what they have so you have the obviously legoland mythica theme they've just added a brand new walkthrough attraction that video has already literally just been uploaded as well if this set is available in your local Legoland and you don't you had no idea what it is it is worth picking it up because I would imagine at some point they will be adding in a Lego Mythica section into your local Legoland park because they've obviously just released the set this isn't exclusive to Legoland Windsor it's exclusive across all the Legoland parks it's just that a lot of the parks will not have anything related to Legoland Mythica in your Legoland apart from the 4D cinema ride. Right, we are starting to run out of time. So guys, if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Hopefully you find it useful. Hopefully you like seeing all the different bits and pieces that they have got available at Legoland Windsor, again, for their 2022 season. When we head outside, I will go quiet, I'll let you soak all everything in and they have some really nice displays out the front because the front entrance to this shop is also very very impressive with regards to how they've got all the different bits and pieces sort of laid out 
and in front so i won't spoil it too much for you if you've never seen it before but stick around for that for the last couple of minutes because that is that is something to see so we'll go back through the build a minifigure big models now we'll have a look at all the different bits and pieces then we'll jump to the middle of the shop and then i'll head outside guys and then you can have a look at everything that's available out there and you get to see also just the size and scale of the actual store from the outside because where we stood now it used to be a calf and that's how this shop has expanded and then it became the biggest store in the world until like i said new york had taken it over so it's a really really good expansion and then over the road from this lego store now is what you'll see as we start to head outside and through the glass doors that is where the new calf is which is the uh, Legoland Coffee Co I do believe is what it is and then that's another little cut through that you can go through and then get into a different section of the park but guys that is it we are done I'll let you soak the last part of the video in so as always thank you very much for watching you guys take care and I'll have to catch you in the next one ta -da.